Whether it's a date with the significant other or a girl's day out, we all need some time away once in a while. My favorite thing to do is a little staycation in my own town, which happens to be Morgan Hill, California. So if you're looking for ideas on something to do during the day or the evening, I have a great list for you. If we haven't met yet, my name is Krista Nielsen. I'm a realtor in Silicon Valley and I love everything about the community that I live in. My list is kind of going in order of the easiest to the most complicated. I love an adventure and I don't get a date night out that often. So when we do, I definitely want to make it big. So the first suggestion that I have for you is just a nice, mellow daytime event. This is gonna be on a Saturday because of what's included in this outing. So you'll start out at Coffee Guys, which is one of my favorite coffee shops in downtown Morgan Hill. You can park in the parking garage, you can go to Coffee Guys, get a little coffee. It's one of the strongest coffees that I've had ever, and I am very productive. Once I have their coffee, head over to the farmer's market, pick out some fruits and veggies, maybe grab a pastry from the French bakery. From the farmer's market, you're going to walk back over to Craft Roots, which is only about a block away. If you go to Craft Roots, you have to promise me that you tell them that Krista Nielsen sent you because they know it's one of my favorite spots. And you have to promise to get the cauliflower bites and the chili cheese fries you will not be disappointed. If you're still learning about Morgan Hill and South County as a whole, this next date idea is probably going to surprise you a little bit. Not everyone realizes that Morgan Hill was actually founded based on a winery. This was long ago and that winery no longer exists, but we have an incredible wine region that a lot of people don't know about. I would start out downtown Morgan Hill again and grab some sandwiches or a charcuterie board from Paul Marino's, which is an Italian deli in downtown Morgan Hill. Grab some goodies and head out on your wine tasting adventure. The first stop for wineries is going to be Lion Ranch, which is a Rhone style winery with incredible wines varying from white wine all the way to red. The views are absolutely beautiful there. It's a local and family-based business, and I am always excited to support them. I actually like it so much that I'm part of their wine club. Once you're done wine tasting there, head over to Solis Winery in Gilroy. They are going to have incredible views as well, and you can sit outside, maybe if you're lucky, catch some live music, and you're allowed to bring in your own food. So this is a great space to enjoy those sandwiches or those snacks that you picked up from earlier in the day. The final girls trip or date that I would recommend is dinner and dessert in a progressive way. So if you're wine tasting all day, you could absolutely do this in the evening. However, I recommend hitting up a coffee shop and taking a nap in between and maybe finding a designated driver. However, progressive dinners are one of my personal favorite things. So fun little fact, I used to be an ambassador for a company called Dish Crawl. It was a progressive dining experience where people would buy tickets. I would advertise this in the press and we would get people coming from all over the area wanting to see what restaurants we went and explored that day. So taking that idea and putting it into your own twist as a date night, I would start at one place with appetizers and a cocktail, go to the next place for an entree and maybe a glass of wine, and then finally go somewhere for dessert and maybe a cup of coffee or another glass of wine. If you're open for this adventure, please let me know that you did this in the comments. I always love to hear when someone actually does this. And my husband and I try to do this pretty much any time that we get a date night together. Let's start at Mohai, which is one of the most amazing and beautiful restaurants in Morgan Hill. Start with some ahi tacos and definitely get a cocktail from this restaurant. My personal favorite right now is a Frosé, but they have tons of amazing cocktails that they're famous for. Second stop, I would head over to Maurizio's. They are incredible and an amazing Italian restaurant. Everything is farm, fresh, and homemade. All of their pastas are homemade from scratch. Any pasta dish you get there is incredible and you will leave feeling so satisfied. They are a wine establishment, so you cannot get a cocktail from this restaurant. 
I would suggest getting something on the Italian side, like at a Chianti or a San Giovese. For your final stop for dessert, I would recommend either going to Sweet Retreat in downtown Morgan Hill for a scoop of ice cream, or heading over to Noah's Bar and Bistro for a after dinner cocktail and a sweet ending to your night. I was so excited to share with you my ideal date nights or girls days out. If you have any questions about any of these businesses or want to hear more ideas, definitely leave a comment below. If you like this content and want to see more, definitely subscribe to this channel and I will see you soon.